Hello, welcome to the next free 10 minutes tutorial for Touch Designer. And now we continue the topic of last week where we were playing the a uh, bunch of audio samples. Now uh, we change a bit of task. We want to control the uh, stretch of that samples or the pitch. For that uh, task, the solution we found last week using audio play chop is not working. So we found another way, but first let's organize a library of samples. So for that, I'm going to make a folder. And because I already preset that the project, I just navigate to the sounds uh, and create the folder with all sounds and I only need a path parameter. Then I'm going to create the base outputting from the folder dot and inside of that base lets me make the replicator. So for that first I want to create the out uh, in that time I want to create the file in not audio file in but just a regular file in chop because we want to load the full length of audio sample then let's make the expression which is pointing to that table and loading the row based on the number of current operator so that is quite easy First, we make the reference to the table called paths. Then in square parentheses, we're referencing, let's say, number one and comma path. That we load the first sample, first row. Then we should replace one by me digits. And we're receiving the same result. So now we can create a replicator. Drop the table is a template dot table. And drop that file in is a master operator. And now we have a library of samples already preloaded, which will make the faster performance. Let's call that base sound leap. Okay, cool. Next step, we want to play back that samples. Uh, let's say we have a beat operator producing pulses. So we output pulse. Let's count that pulse using a count chop. Then uh, we want to loop that values using limit chop in loop starting from one corresponding to the first row and until the end of a folder dot. So let's make op folder one num rows. So that will be limiting the counter. And let's every time that uh, number is changing, let's load the another sample from the sound library inside of select chop. For that, we can write a path. Basically, we can even just split left, right, dive inside of sound library and drop the first sample to the select and then we change the string here so we should replace the one by the expression which will ask for the number of pulse channel inside of limit one chop so plus then we should concatenate with string then we should convert the chop value to the integer. Then we're going to ask for OP. 
limit one limit one square parenthesis and pulse. So now every time the counter increase value, we loading another sample. Okay, let's select also the bit. And let's think how we can stretch that sample. For that, we can use the stretch chop. And in order that operator can automatically calculate the length of current sample, we should input the same chop to the second stretch input and put that to the absolute unit values. Now we can use the length scale for control of the uh, stretch. Let's make a noise noise chop based on this counter and let's use a mat for rearranging that so because noise produce values between minus one and one and we want to put it in range one and two so we going to stretch from original length to twice slower. Let's use rename operator to rename it to stretch one. And then scale parameter. Colon scale. Now we can export using the channel name is path parameter method. And now our sample going to be stretched every time the counter will increase. And in order to play back that dynamically, we're going to use the abandoned copy chop. Here we can input the pulse and put the chop data to the copy input and copy will dynamically mix even if they will intersect by the time they will be mixed that chop samples and let's bring the audio device out and enjoy some additional words we can actually use more samples than one so let's make for example let's select always the channel one and let's just copy and paste all that setup until here so let's copy that twice including that and let's put a second bit to the period of one. And now let's maybe add using mat some value to offset the numbering of samples so we just pre-add five so then in select we should adjust that to the limit two then in rename we also change the name to the stretch two and enable the exporting then the merge that samples together and on another side we're going to use selection of both bits we can replace one by question sign and then that copy operator will copy bo both inputs Mm. 
So that system is quite procedural and flexible and has a very nice performance. So please enjoy and follow my channel. Thanks a lot.